Sexual assault on college campuses is a growing issue in our country. With new legislation going into effect this year to prevent attacks on campus, I checked in with our local colleges, North Central and Benedictine, to see what they're doing to keep students informed and safe. One in five women and one in 16 males will experience some form of sexual assault during their time at college. These staggering statistics inspired Brooke Muscagney, a college professor at a small school in Texas, to explore what's being done to fight the problem not just at an Ivy League level, but at colleges nationwide. The greater goal is to shed a light um, on the diverse experiences of college students in the United States, not just those attending elite institutions, because we need to learn more about the students' experiences in order to formulate effective policies and education and prevention programs. Through a grant provided by AAUW, she's been able to research sexual assault and rape culture on different campuses, and recently shared her findings with the local chapter encouraging them to get involved in legislation like the Campus Accountability and Safety Act, a bipartisan bill that increases protection for students who have been victims of sexual assault, as well as educational programs for their peers. Local schools like North Central College are also taking a stand. One of the best ways that uh, we can prevent further sexual assaults is by being engaged bystanders. We're a Green Dot campus. We do a lot of trainings throughout the year about how students can help prevent violence by uh, recognizing red flags, recognizing high risk situations, and then stepping in and doing something in a way that feels comfortable for them. The school has had 10 reported incidents regarding sexual assault in the last three years. The numbers could be attributed to a number of factors, including higher enrollment. We had to get smarter, quite honestly, as colleges and universities to think about how we engage um, all of our students in thinking about um, creating a campus culture where violence of this type is just absolutely unacceptable, you know, and just a, a, a culture that's really inhospitable to that kind of violence. And that's where um, the bystander approach really came into play. Encouraging students to become active bystanders is just one of the ways faculty and staff hope to get the number to zero by ensuring their students are informed and know how to prevent violence. The same goes for Benedictine University, which has reported two cases of sexual misconduct in the last five years. We have a lot of programming uh, and a lot of initiatives. Uh, probably the, uh, the foremost one is, uh, compared to most private institutions uh, in the area, uh, we're one of the few that have their own state commission police department. So. We already have first responders for any kind of an incident, uh, first responders that are trained to provide resources to survivors, and in this particular case we're talking about uh, sexual misconduct, sexual assault. With similar programs in place and self-defense courses offered, faculty and staff's top priority is keeping students safe. They do have someone to go to. Um, they can go to anyone on campus. They don't have to keep it to themselves. Um, like our athletes, a lot of them will go to their, their coach because they feel comfortable. Um, and they have to feel comfortable with that person in most cases. Then they'll start talking. Um, so we're trying to get that message out. Come August, both schools will be required by law to adhere to Title IX, something they're already preparing for by hiring special staff just to make sure they understand the law. A lot of folks think about Title IX um, and they think about having equal number of male sports and equal number of female sports, but it's a much larger law than that and it talks about discrimination in any kind of way. So now Title IX's focus is also, it, it is important that you're being equitable in all facets, but that also is that you have an equitable and fair process to adjudicate and resolve um, issues of uh, discrimination that could and fall under the sexual misconduct umbrella. With programs in place for success and new legislation coming through the state, both North Central College and Benedictine University believe the possibility of zero sexual assaults happening on their campuses is achievable. For 630, I'm Natalie Vitali.